Civilization V is the best digital media on the market to teach students of 10th grade world history the development of the first early River Valley civilizations. Civilization V offers 43 different civilizations representing dozens of cultures spanning the globe and history, like New Kingdom Egypt, the Roman Republic, Tang Dynasty China, and many more. With such a high level of diversity, Civilization V can be used to teach many different lessons in world history. But I believe Civilization V is best suited to show the impact agriculture had on human societies and even identify major characteristics of civilization. Which is why Teek's World History Standard 2 will be used as a guideline in my lesson. According to Transforming Learning with New Technologies, simulation games like Civ 5 implement stealth learning on players, so students will unknowingly learn as they enjoy the game. Imagine a group of students are just dropped into a accurate map of Mesopotamia, and they are now controlling an ancient river valley civilization. They will be able to see upon opening the technology tab that agriculture allowed for such a thing to happen, as it is the first technology already discovered at the start of the game. Students can build units like the scout to explore the landmass or build buildings like monuments to encourage loyalty. The researching of technology like pottery is another important function of the game as it what drives civilization's ability to do more. As the game progresses, students will come into contact with each other and be able to see firsthand just how different civilizations interact with each other in areas like diplomacy. Will you trade with a neighboring civilization? Or perhaps they might think your cities are a little too close to their borders for comfort. Cities will grow in population and wealth under proper management and will become targets for barbarian raiders. Students will then have the responsibility to protect their people from these marauders and even rebuild what had been plundered. It's not just barbarians students will have to worry about, but envious neighboring civilizations will even wage war attempting to destroy a student civilization wholesale. Taking the students hard work for themselves and leaving the students civilization as a footnote in the ever progressing story of human history. But if a student is smart with their civilization's resources and have read the art of war, then a student can handle all these threats head on, just like those first civilizations acted all those thousands of years ago.